Thank you, sir. The chair yields to Ms. Hageman for five minutes. Thank you. The First Amendment to the United States Constitution rests on the principle that no person or institution, including the government, has a monopoly on the truth, and that viewpoint-based suppression of speech by the government is dangerous and may even spell the death of a constitutional republic. Under the First Amendment, the government has no power to restrict expression because of its message, its ideas, its subject matter, or its content. As the Supreme Court has explained, if there is any fixed star in our constitutional constellation, it is that no official, high or petty, can prescribe what shall be orthodox in politics, nationalism, religion, or other matters of opinion. Labeling speech, mis speech misinformation does not strip it of its First Amendment protection. That is so even if the speech is untrue, as some false statements are inevitable if there is to be an open and vigorous expression of views in public and private conversation. In refusing to carve out a First Amendment exception for false speech, the framers of our Constitution rec recognized the significant danger in making the government the ultimate arbiters of truth. And it is axiomatic in the words of the Supreme Court that the government may not induce, encourage, or promote private persons to accomplish what it constitutionally for is forbidden to accomplish. Secretary Mayorkas, it was reported in May that the DHS, through the Targeted Violence and Terrorism Prevention Grant Program, is funding groups targeting conservatives and equating them to domestic terrorists. Originally intended to combat foreign terrorist organizations' operations in the U.S., it has become yet another government tool weaponized against citizens to violate First Amendment protection affiliate, uh, protected affiliations and speech. One grant to the University of Dayton for a program titled Prevents O hosted a seminar titled Extremism, Rhetoric, and Democratic Precarity. One of the speakers, a known Antifa member, as part of his presentation shared a pyramid of far-right radicalization, which likened the Republican Party to the, the Heritage Foundation, the American Conservative Union, Fox News, Breitbart News, the National Rifle Association, Prager University, Tea Party Patriots, the MAGA movement, and the, the, the pro-police Blue Lives Matter movement, and the Christian Broadcasting Network as the first steps on path leading to Nazism and militant neo-Nazism, among other appalling ideologies and groups. This presenter reportedly also taught tactics on how to pressure the removal of conservatives from platforms, and he's even quoted as saying, a lot of things we are doing are illegal, and a lot of it involves breaking the law. Secretary Mayorkas, does the affiliation with conservative or Christian beliefs make someone a Nazi or a domestic terrorist? Of course not. Okay. Then if that's so, why uh, is your agency targeting Americans uh, who are Christians and conservatives? We are not. Okay. Secretary Mayorkas, when did you become aware that the University of Dayton was implementing your grant funding program to target conservatives and Christians? It is my understanding that it is not. When did you become, so you have, you're not aware of that? No, it is my understanding that it is not. You're unaware of the information that has been produced, and have you ever seen the pyramid that it's up on the screen right now? I, uh, I learned about the individual speaker's comments with which I profoundly disagree. Okay, so when did you find about, out about the speaker's comments? I don't quite uh, recall, Congresswoman. All right, well, you know what? I, Mr. Mayorkas, I actually really want to thank you as well for coming here today, for your performance. I have watched with absolute fascination as you have danced and dodged and lied. Yes, lied. We know you've lied, you know you've lied, but more importantly, the American public knows that you lied throughout your testimony today. And yet you believe that you and your fellow architects of the censorship industrial complex think that you should be able to determine what is and isn't true and what is and isn't untrue. You are the walking, talking epitome of the very tyrant that our forefathers recognized would gravitate towards government service. And it is because of people like you that they drafted the First Amendment. I thank them for their foresight. I thank them for recognizing that you and people like you would do everything in your power to control speech, to control freedom, to take away our rights. And they've written a document 
that isn't going to allow you to do that. Unfortunately, we still have courts and judges who recognize that you don't have the power that you are attempting to take, that you do not have the right to limit our freedom of speech, our freedom of association, our right to communicate. Thank God we have the First Amendment so that we can stop you from doing what you've been doing. With that, I yield back. Your accusations are false.